Θα διαχωριστούν οι αυτήνε του κράτου, δηλαδή τώρα έχουμε ένα Υπουργείο, το οποίο μπορεί να είναι ιδιοκτήτη, να διαμορφώνει την πολιτική και να υποπτεύει το κράτο. Έτσι, καλύτερα να διαχωριστούν οι αυτήνε του κράτου και αυτά τα καθήκοντα του ιδιοκτήτη να μεταφερθούν στην ανεξάρτητη αρχή. Και δημιουργώντα αυτή την αρχή, αυτή η αρχή θα, μέσα στον χρόνο θα αποκτήσει τεχνογνωσία, την πυροδοκοσία που θα τη επιτρέπει. Να, να βελτιωθεί. Υπήρχαν τη συνέπεια και τη συνέχεια στην διαδικασία των κοκκιών, οι κοκκιών με κυπριακή οργανισμό. Any system of governance, whether it's the political extreme, whether it's the different systems we have around the world, if your system of governance doesn't have good ethics at the heart of it, it's going to become a tyranny. Don't think that all the tyrannies that have been experienced in history haven't had a system of governance. Of course they have. There's a way of having authority and decisions and accountability, of course. But it's just unethical. You wouldn't want to live in these tyrannical organizations. We need to make sure that ethics is at the heart of any system of governance. Otherwise, it evolves into tyranny. So this is where both compliance and ethics now come together. Uh, this is slow, it's uh, appeals and so on. But if you find them heavily, Thank you. Everything you two gentlemen and yourself, sir, have said is music to my ears. I want to hug you. I want to kiss you. <laughs> right? And I ran a presidential campaign. I even took bananas with me on television to explain that the system is like a banana republic, not the people, not the employees, not whatever what you say is great but the problem is how do you sell it to the top in other words if tomorrow you had five minutes right? i've had the honor of a couple of weeks ago going to the presidential complex they heard me his chief of staff he's very approachable if you had five minutes to sell these excellent ideas some of which I explained in different ways in my manifesto. Will you succeed? Or will the standard common way of doing things in Cyprus, which is to kick the can down the road, happen? What you say is great. How do we get it done? Yeah. Great question. <laughs> I'm going to invert that pyramid. I don't think we can make the change from the top. I think we can make the change from the bottom. I honestly believe that. And the folks that I've been working with in the new government team, they can testify. I've always said our secret weapon is the general public. When I first arrived in Cyprus, if you were to say that our banking system is not good enough, is unprofessional, or they, they would say, what are you talking about? We've had 30 years of unbroken economic growth. We found the magic formula. Who are you to come over and tell us that everything's wrong? You wouldn't have got an audience 20, 25 years ago to say there's something fundamentally wrong in Cyprus, we've got to fix it. Because everyone was living a good life, I know we have the problems, the invasion, the refugee, I get that. But Cyprus is growing, everyone was making money, everyone was happy. Say that now. There's not one person that would say to you, no, Cyprus is fine, excellent, what are you talking about? Everyone says, yeah, it's broken, it doesn't work. And we're just surviving. Our secret weapon is a general public. I think, by all means, if we identify people in the right position who have got the ear for good governance, let's go and talk to them and try to convince them. So it's above that, not by the law. But I think where we get critical mass is the general public. We need to educate the general public. It's your system. And if you are not participating, then you get the government you deserve, or the system you deserve, or the governance you deserve. And I have got a passion about youth for governance.